Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. I have neglected the garden for about a month now. If you're new here, I just cloned it. Look at all those roots. That's a tomato plant. If you're brand new here and you want an indoor garden, or I have 25 solar panels, if you want to make your own electricity, click in the links down below. Please subscribe and click that little bell. You get all the notifications coming up. Now this has been in the cloner for way too long, so I can't believe all the roots though. It really, the leaves still look so healthy, but I think they're just waiting for some dirt. <laughs> so over here, my best product so far, let's see if you can get this. I gotta use my hand to point. I have two peppers, a green and a red. And over here, if I could do this, camera turned. So, over here, I have two large peppers. They're doing quite well. I'm very happy with the indoor garden. I'm in Lower Michigan. So, we're getting rain right now. I think it's going to be a freeze of rain. Yeah, I gotta get this planted. It came off this tomato. It was about seven, eight foot tall. And uh, I missed the flowering until I was told by Hidden Harvest Grow Lights to put a fan. So I got, with a fan, these two peppers over here are because of the fan. They self-pollinated. And, and of course this has still more flowers. So it's self-pollinating. I can't keep the fan on it every day. Then I turn the lights on that the fan is on. So I got to pull this out. See what I got from this tomato. Holy smokes! It's like the Chinaman beard. Look at that. Woo! I'm going to have to get a cage in here. Those lights got to get up higher. I got to figure something out for that. I got a 2x4 up on top of some, uh, on the shelves is a, some old encyclopedias. So I might have to take those, those books up a little higher. And this one I don't recognize that leaf. It's either a goji berry. It don't look like a blueberry. I'll put that back in. I just wanted to show you. And here's a blueberry. Oh. I just knocked off the last leaf. I guess there's no roots. Blueberry is difficult. I haven't gotten one of those to come up yet. That leaf just fell off. And that blueberry never took. We'll have to get some of these goji berries in there here pretty soon. The goji berries, I can keep leaves on them sometimes, and then sometimes I lose all the leaves. But I don't hardly have any more of the uh, spider mites. So I'm going to keep all these leaves, all these twigs, and I'm going to put them on top. We'll call that organic. That helps the plants grow. Now several people told me I don't need the, the cycloner, but uh, you can take tomatoes and just put them in water. Well, <laughs> I'm not getting such hot results. Looks like two or three of them did take root, but the rest of them, no. And now these tomatoes, <laughs> if I put them on the cycloner, the cloner will root every single tomato. <clears throat> Especially if 
I put it in the Hormodin 3, most especially. They say you don't need that, but I guarantee it works every single time. <clears throat> I want to say a shout out. Rocking C Homestead. Okay. He's a good homesteader. Him and his wife are doing pretty, uh, pretty awesome, actually. They don't have a lot of videos. They're brand new. But they got a lot of information. I've learned quite a bit from each and every one of their, their videos. I got the uh, chicken tractor fixed up. And it it's out of the garage. I got my garage back. <laughs> so that's fixed up. I aired up the tires. I got the, the wheel assemblies from Harbor Freight. And they're going to do just fine. I think that in the spring, I would detach them, put them down a little bit further so it's more maneuverable. So I don't have to pick it up so high. I don't want to have to pick it up to the point where chickens can get out. I don't have chickens yet, but I'm already brainstorming everything that I need to know and trying to figure everything out before I actually get the, the meat birds <coughs> or, or the egg laying birds. All right, it's good to be back up here in the uh, indoor garden. So I have plenty of oxygen all winter long and this helps with the moisture as well but I do need to find some new filters on uh, eBay or Amazon I have two humidifiers that need to be kicking off the one up here I just have it sitting I got a lot of extra water in there I got that tub filled up for, for uh, more moisture in the indoor garden alright I'm going to cut it right there have a nice sunny day please like and share and uh... I usually say have a nice sunny day, but it is in the evening. Alright, take care folks. Have fun.